time when you're ready. Hi, I'm Dr. Julie Kronk. I practice in St. Paul, Minnesota. Squamous cell carcinoma is the second most common type of skin cancer. So what is it and why do you get it? First of all, squamous cell carcinoma usually presents as a pink scaly bump or sometimes a scaly patch of skin. Sometimes these can be painful, but not always. Squamous cell carcinomas are caused by chronic long-term sun exposure. People who have jobs where they work outside often will get a high number of squamous cell carcinomas, and also people who spend a lot of time outside, such as gardeners or golfers, will also get them. Tanning boosts can also cause squamous cell carcinoma, so it's important to avoid them. Some squamous cell carcinomas can be caused by viruses, such as the human papillomavirus. How can squamous cell carcinoma be prevented? The best way to prevent squamous cell carcinoma is good sun protection. And this doesn't mean sunscreen by itself. Sunscreen should be used, but it should be an SPF of 30 or better, and it should be reapplied every two hours, especially when swimming or sweating. In addition to sunscreen, I recommend that people use sun protective clothing, such as long shirts, wide brim hats, and seeking shade. Squamous cell carcinoma can be treated with several different methods. One method that's commonly used is Mohs surgery, and this is especially true if the skin cancer is in a particularly sensitive area, such as the head and neck area, the hands and feet, or in the groin. On other parts of the body, unless the squamous cell carcinoma is particularly large, we can treat the lesion with a simple excision. A simple excision is where the doctor removes a piece of skin and then closes it with stitches. In some cases, if the squamous cell carcinoma is superficial, we can use a procedure called electrodesiccation and curatage, which is where we scrape away the tumor cells and then cauterize the area or burn it. Or sometimes we can use a cream such as a chemotherapy cream. If you are diagnosed with squamous cell carcinoma, Although it's a serious condition, you shouldn't panic. There are many good treatments out there for squamous cell carcinoma, and we treat these every day.